Hey guys, this is Dave from Asset Plant Machinery. Today we're going to overview our Stoolmaster Industrial PK10 Power. This is the smallest of our section rollers and ring rollers. It's a 240 volt machine, has nice tight uh, centres on the rollers so it gives you a great little radius. Uh, the beauty about this uh, PK10 Power, it's industrial built, used for B2B industry. Uh, it works both in a vertical and a horizontal plane so you can actually tilt the head back if you're doing sort of larger diameters and bigger rings and you can also put a lot uh, outrigger sort of rollers there to support those. Uh, let's run through some of the key features. Obviously we've got forward and reverse on the pedal, e-stop on the top, and it's a nice tight roller scene. So uh, the key thing about having tight rollers is you're going to get a nice tight radius, very simply. We've also got the top roll positioner, so that's all calibrated up and down there as well. So you simply sort of wind this up and down to get your radius. Uh, over here we've got the e-stop, turn that off. Uh, and turn the back on again, we've got the uh, isolator there, uh, also a storage cabinet, and also in there you've got your electrical as well, which all has um, standard sort of Schneider and Siemens electrics. Uh, let's sort of show you the, uh, the, the key feature of this one here. Now, I've already unbolted these, these bolts here, so I've loosened it off so we can actually bring the head back. It's a little bit weighty, but if you come around the back, uh, we've got a heavy duty gearbox here. So this gearbox here, obviously operates the machine in, in both modes. So you grab that, you pull this back here, you put that back in the horizontal mode. So just imagine doing massive rings and big diameters by having that back there. So this gives you a very, very good flexible setup. So uh, while it's down in this position, I'll show you these guides. So these are your side guide rollers. So when you're doing your, uh, your rod, your angle, etc., uh, position your side guide rollers up and down to actually uh, push up against the back of the material. So we'll push this back up again. Okay, uh, over here, our PK10 comes with one set of uh, standard formers. They're a split former, so you might just wind this off very quickly. And uh, I'll show, show you how this works. Basically, that's a split former. So that's actually key weight as well. So uh, with section rolls, they're probably one of the hardest machines to actually tool up to suit everyone's application. So we supply it with a set of split formers. So you can actually space that out so you can go angle leg in, you can go RHS uh, square section by spacing it out. And it's as simple as, um, as getting yourself a series of spacers and then setting that out to suit. We also uh, stock a set of um, uh, sets of dedicated round formers for tube and also NB. So call us up, we've got those on our on our website and also in-house itself. So tighten it back up again. Okay, so what I'll do uh, over here, so like as I said, forward reverse operation. Uh, simply nice and quiet, it's working now, forward reverse. And then you position this top roll up and down and I'll just get a little bit of bar shortly and show you. Uh, so as the top roll comes down, it gives you your, your curve and radius. Okay, so we've just got a little bit of um, rod there at the moment. I'm not going to do anything sort of super special, but just show you how, how simply this machine works. So, wind that down. And as we, as we turn it. So if you stand back, you can see it already sort of curving up and down. That just shows you the general concept of how a ring rolling machine works by putting material in, whether it's round, flat, angle, box section, RHS, the whole lot, and you can form any sort of shape you want, but you've got to get the configuration of tools to suit your, uh, your profile. So there's our little PK10 power. Jump onto assetplanet.com.au for the full specification range of what it can do, and have a great day.